exciting news to share. Are you guys ready for this? I don't think you are. Woohoo! We're monetized! <laughs> This morning, I got the email letting me know that my little YouTube channel has been monetized. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos and for sticking around, for subscribing, and for helping me out. Today's video, we're heading to the Alligator Enduro for a weekday race event, which is kind of crazy, right? We're, we're racing during the weekday. My shirt says weekends are for racing, but not this weekend. We're, we're riding during the weekday. Max is super pumped and excited to <laughs> head out <laughs> and I got, I, I got an update on the foot. Most of the time I do like a sit down video showing you guys like what the doctor told me, x-rays and all that. I don't know how I'm going to present this to you but turns out, I'll, you got to keep watching so I can tell you guys what the doctor told me. So now we're at the shop and we're going to change sprocket, right dad? We're going to yeah. change the sprocket. Yes. <laughs> Side note, I ordered the sprocket because it was on sale. In most instances, I would order the, I don't know, the two metal types of sprockets because they last longer, you know, they have like the one type of metal on the inside and then they have the other type of metal on the outside. Um, they just last longer, but because this one was on sale, I grabbed this one. And this is my first time changing out the stock sprocket, so it lasted me like eight, nine months. It's pretty good. Now we're putting the bolts and the backings of the bolts onto the sprocket. I don't know the correct terminology, but you guys know what I'm saying. And then we're gonna tighten them up and put the wheel back onto the bike. Because I replaced my rear sprocket, I also decided to replace the front sprocket. Ideally, you're supposed to replace the chain when you're replacing your sprockets too because uh, something with the tension, it just, you know, it, it, you're just supposed to do all three at once. But Monica forgot to order <laughs> a new chain. So, because the race was coming up that week, I figured I'll just replace the sprockets and then I'll order the new chain and then replace the new chain before the next race, which is what I did. Um, here I'm just putting the plastic piece back on from where I unscrewed it. Um, don't know what that's called either. We're just gonna call it the plastic piece. Once you put your chain back on, you want to make sure that you have, you know, two fingers width worth of slack in your chain and then you're good to go. And last but not least, you lube up your uh, chain. <laughs> In this case, my chain is pretty rusty and it does definitely need to be replaced. But you wanna lube up your chain, make sure it's nice and loopy, and yeah. While we were putting the uh, tires back on or the wheels back on, I noticed that my, I don't know what you call this, my disc, my rotor, no, I'll have to ask Jake what it's called, but that disc thing, 
There seems to be like a line on. Do you see what I'm looking at? I'll insert a, like a an arrow. That's my front wheel. My hey guys, so if you stuck around this far, you're probably curious on how my foot is doing and what actually happened to it. So I have a whole video dedicated to how I actually broke my pinky toe and my foot. Yep, you heard that right. For the last five weeks, I have been kind of riding with a broken foot. Now you're probably curious, like what? I thought it was just your toe. Yeah, I thought it was just my toe too. At a hair scramble in Okeechobee, I hit somebody's foot peg by accident. And that happened in the first couple miles of the race and I knew right away that I broke a toe. Well, after I took my boot off, my foot was really swollen. I'll insert a photo of that right here for the foot fetish peeps. So of course, on the way back home, we stopped at urgent care. I had it checked out and the guy, the doctor, said that my pinky toe was broken, which was not a shocker to us at all. I went to my orthopedic the following day and he told me the same thing. My pinky toe was broken. Fast forward to my four week checkup and check in. Um, got a new x-ray done and he saw, my orthopedic saw calcium deposits on my foot. Meaning, my foot has been broken this entire time and I'll insert an x-ray right here of the initial x-ray I had and then the second x-ray that I had. And I stayed off of my foot for about a week straight after I had broken it, but two weeks into my injury, I was back on a dirt bike. Now, had I known that my actual foot was broken, I probably would have stayed off of my dirt bike, but I've been riding ever since then. I think the biggest struggle of having a broken foot and a broken toe has been putting it inside of my riding boot. Now, I did tell my orthopedic that I've been racing on it, and he did say that my foot is healing up straight. But again, had I known that it was broken this whole time, I probably wouldn't have been riding on it. I broke my foot. I would say that it was a 6 out of 10, 10 pain level. And I experienced some discomfort about, you know, a couple weeks after. Still having a little bit of discomfort. And I'll show you guys what my foot is looking like now. This is about 5 weeks after I broke it. This outside, but... As you can tell, my left pinky is still quite a bit swollen and so is my whole foot actually in comparison to my right. Um, the swelling has gone down a little bit, but you can still, still see that it is a tad bit swollen. So in terms of healing, <laughs> there's not much you can do for a broken foot or a broken toe. For a broken toe, you buddy, buddy tape it to another toe that you know is all right and for your foot there's nothing really you can do other than to stay off of it when we found out that I broke my toe my orthopedic doctor gave me one of these little booties to wear and I've been wearing it for the past five weeks and I'll probably continue to wear it for another week which will put us out at about six weeks the good thing about this shoe is the fact that it's kind of longer than my actual foot so it prevents me from stubbing it on anything the healing time for this type of injury is about four to six weeks. Like I said, we're at week five and I've been doing a pretty normal activity, uh, walking around quite a bit, not yet running or jogging, anything like that. Um, and not no jumping, so I haven't been going to the gym and working out uh, per usual, but I have been riding <laughs> my dirt bike and my doctor did say that I can ride my bicycle around as long as I'm careful, obviously, and not pushing it too hard. I think that wraps up the video for today. If you guys have any questions in regards to broken feet or broken toes, ask me in the comment section below. Um, this hasn't been my first injury. I've broken my collarbone and I've also broken my tib and my fib last year. So I think that I'm pretty knowledgeable about breaks now. Anyway, hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.